In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Google Analytics 4 and connect it to your store, your Shopify store, whatever it may be, and how to make sure everything is integrated properly so that you can track everything and migrate over if you were previously using Universal Analytics or you're just new to Google Analytics in general and you want to know how to set everything up. So before we get into this tutorial, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Blake Bauer. I'm the co-founder at Jetstream Digital, a digital advertising agency that helps B2B and D2C businesses dominate digital advertising. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the newest in digital marketing and digital advertising so that you can dominate digital advertising for your online business. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and get it underway here. So let's jump into my computer and let me show you how to set up GA4. Okay, so if you don't already have a Google Analytics account set up, you're gonna be brought to this page and you're gonna have to click on Start Measurement to go ahead and set up your first Google Analytics account. Now, if you already have a Google Analytics account, maybe you're using Universal Analytics, you will be brought to the actual Google Analytics dashboard. And from there, we'll get into a little bit later on how to set up your Google Analytics account and GA4 from your Universal Analytics account and how to integrate that and make sure everything is firing properly. But let's start out here. If you have a no Google Analytics account, how to set this up, go ahead and click on start measurement. And then you're gonna want to fill out your account name. So just name this for your business. So I'm just gonna put Jetstream digital test. Okay, and then account data sharing settings, Google products and services. Sure, just enable all this. That's fine. Uh, the property name, you're gonna want to name this uh, based on, you know, just again, your business again. So go, um, you know, your business name, uh, Google Analytics. Okay, and then select your time zone, let's do Chicago, and then US dollar, that's fine. You can also here create a universal analytics property. So Google is gonna prompt you right away to create a GA4 property, as you can see here, to measure your web, create a GA4 property. Uh, now you can still also create a universal analytics property if you want to, and so in this video, I'll actually create both so that you can see how to create, you know, both a Google Analytics 4 property and a Universal Analytics property and how they work together. But Google is really pushing for GA4. So Google Universal Analytics really isn't as important and is kind of getting phased out. But again, you can uh, enable this and you can actually at your website here and you can create both a GA4 and a Universal Analytics property. This will create two properties, connecting site tags. So you only need to add the tag once to your website. And then also you can enable uh, enhanced measurement for Google Analytics for property. And yeah, or you can actually only create a universal analytics property, right? But we're gonna create both and then uh, just add your website in here. So I'm just gonna go jetstream.agency. And then you're just gonna wanna fill out your business details here. So describe your business category. I'm just gonna go business industrial and then your business size, right? So I'm just gonna go small business and then click on next and then click on your objectives for your business, right? Uh, generate leads, drive more sales, more brand awareness, whatever it be, you know, if you're, an online store, it's gonna be drive more sales. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on create. Once you click on create, there's just some terms of service that you have to accept. Go ahead and accept these and click I accept. And boom, your property is now created. And just go back to continue to home. Okay, so now once you're on the home page of your Google Analytics property, you can see it looks something like this where you do have uh, you know, no data is coming in to start collecting measurement at the website tagging using the measurement ID here. And then there's also some tagging instructions, right? So let's just do a quick walkthrough of GA4. Uh, once you add the actual tag, which we'll show you how to do in just a moment here, you'll see users start to come in and you can see average engagement time. And you can also adjust these, you know, for your business, right? You can see how many add to carts you had, how many purchases you had, what the revenue was, right? So total revenue, things like that will start to populate here as well. And so it's good to track all of this and it's how Google ads and everything feeds back the data and understands you know, your business and how you're currently positioned. And you can also just get a lot of reports and insights from Google Analytics here as well. Now, if you click on this drop down here, you can see we have both properties. So we have our UA property and then we have our GA4 property. So if we go to the UA property, it's gonna have this all website data here. And then this is you know the old set up here. This is the old Universal Analytics property that they're moving away from. And you can see in 56 days from the time of recording on July 1st, we'll see if they actually go through with this. But, um, you know, they're getting rid of Universal Analytics and they're moving everything to GA4, right? So I'm uh, just going to click no thanks. And that's pretty much set up there. So if you're familiar with uh, GA uh, Universal Analytics, then this is the setup that you're familiar with. Now, 
if you don't already have a Google Analytics account, let's say you just had a Universal Analytics account and you wanna create a GA4 account, what you can actually do is go to admin here and then you can go to GA4 setup assistant and then you can actually create a property if you need to right here. So we already have a property set up, but you can actually create a property if you wanted to and you can actually just do that by clicking that setting right there. So, okay, let's go back. You can actually create the property right there and you can see both of your properties here. And again, in the settings, you can have your account settings, you know, where you can have all your naming here. You have your access where you can add in teammates. And then again, this is where your properties are and you wanna make sure that again, your GA4 is set up and you can actually link that with your Universal Analytics account as well. And you can have your Universal Analytics linked to Google Ads and all this, but we'll show you how to do that inside of GA4. Okay, so now that we're back on the GA4 property, as you can see here, uh, what you wanna do is go ahead and go to admin. And then you can see it's, have, it's the same settings that were in Universal Analytics for GA4. And you have some various things that you wanna be aware of. So first of all, your account settings, you wanna make sure that you know you have the right account name here. You can always adjust your country of business, right? If, if you're in you know Canada, then you can go ahead and add that in and just save that. And if you wanna opt, opt out of all these things, you can totally do that too. If you wanna add any teammates, you can do so here. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the setup assistant. So inside the setup assistant, you can see there's a few things that you wanna do. Uh, you know, it's uh, collect website data and app events, turn on these Google signals. It wants you to set up conversions and it wants you to define some audience. And it wants you to also link to Google ads and you know, a few other things. So let's, let's just show you how to go ahead and connect GA4 to something like Shopify and you know, various other website providers that make it really, really easy for you to go ahead and actually connect that. Okay, so now that we're in Shopify, what you're gonna to wanna to do is have this Google sales channel already on your Shopify store. And something similar will be for you know WooCommerce, for uh, Squarespace, whatever it would be. You will have some type of Google app or sales channel that you can add to your store. And this is what you wanna to do to add Google Analytics for optimally. So go to the Google sales channel here. And on this page, you can see you have some products pending, but you're gonna to wanna to scroll down here and see Google Analytics for optimize your business with Google Analytics. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on get started to actually connect Google Analytics for. So once you come over to here, you can see if you have your uh, correct Google account that you created your Google Analytics account with, you will see that your Google Analytics 4 property will populate here. And then you can go ahead and connect that property to your Shopify account and just click on connect. And boom, you've successfully set up GA4 and you can go to your overview and you can see that that is active and you can view your performance here as well if you go over back to analytics. Okay, so now that we've connected the GA property to Shopify, you can actually see here, I'm just on this little test store here where we have uh, a little product and uh, we can you know add that to cart and do whatever, right? We can you know initiate checkout if we wanted to. I'm just kind of previewing this right now, but let's go ahead and check out. And then you can see on analytics, you can actually see that I'm right here uh, on this uh, property and, and so we're starting to track data. So it's as simple as that to start and get everything live for you. And you can over, uh, go to even, you know, revenue and e-commerce and go, you know, add to carts and start to get some of that data back as well. Just give it a little bit of time for it to load. But all of this data is now going to be coming into GA4. And that's pretty much how you set it up for Shopify and for your business. Okay, so let's say you're not on Shopify and so there's other ways to add GA4 to your business and let's go through those now quickly. Uh, so if we go over to admin, again, you can see that there is this setup assistant that can help you to set up GA4. So you can see collect website and app data. So you can go ahead and look at this and you can see that our stream is already added here. So we don't need to add in another one. We already have the website added. So that's totally fine. So you can actually mark this as complete, right? Turn on Google signals. Uh, let's just see if this is already set up here. Yeah, so that's fine. And let's acknowledge that. So we've done that. Let's go ahead and go get started. Activate Google Signals, activate. So boom, that's been enabled. Let's go back to the setup assistant and let's mark that as complete as well. And then we can also set up some conversions here. So Google Analytics 4 will automatically create you a purchase event by default. And so this is what we're actually gonna to use to import into you know, Google Ads and optimize around uh, as far as our advertising goes. And so this is the main conversion event that you want. If you have you know, uh, a lead event that you wanna track for a specific landing page, this is where you'd wanna add that and just go over to add new conversion. And then you can actually you know, add whatever that would be in here like uh, lead, right? So you can go ahead and save that and then that'll start to track that as well. Okay, so let's go back to the setup assistant here. And 
Uh, you can see we have two conversions now enabled, so we can mark that as complete as well. Uh, you can define an audience here. So there's a couple audiences that will auto populate. So you can, I'm just gonna mark this and you can actually import this from Universal Analytics. So if you already have some audiences there, awesome, definitely import those. Uh, I'm just gonna mark this as complete as well. You're gonna wanna go here and link your Google ad account to GA4 as well. Definitely an important step. And then you can bid on GA4 conversions, target GA4 audiences. So let's just mark this as complete as well and mark that as complete. And again, once you link Google ads, that's what that's all about. Now there is some advanced setup stuff here, but you really don't need to worry about this. Now, what we can do here is if you haven't actually set up Google analytics properly with your website. Now, once you've actually set all that up, if you want to integrate Google analytics with your website and you don't have Shopify or something that, you know, easily integrates like we just did, what you can do is go over to collect website and app data and just click on manage data streams, or you can go to data streams right here and then click on your data stream for your website that you want to update. And you can see there's a few different methods to add this. So you have your measurement ID here. So you have your measurement ID right here. You can view tag instructions and then you can see how this is kind of tracking. You can modify some events here. You can create custom events for your business, right? And then you can also configure tag settings and then you can view tag instructions here for how to actually set this up for your website. So if you look at this right here for our website, if you scan this, we actually use Squarespace. So we can actually copy our code right here and add that into the Squarespace integration here in Google Analytics, like you can see here, they give you a nice tutorial. So if you have another website, uh, let's say you use, you know, uh, yeah, just something else like again, Shopify or WooCommerce or you know any of these other options, it'll give you an option for how to do that. Uh, if you scan your website. So that's a good way to do that. You can also install manually by copying this code and going to the code settings in the header and actually pasting that in um, so that it's tracking for everything, right? So to do that, I'll just give you a quick tutorial. If you go to online store here and then you go to edit code, you can go over to the theme.liquid here and just below this head section, you can actually just paste this in and then that will start tracking your code. Um, or with your Google Analytics property automatically just by doing that and you can click on save. So with that, that's pretty much the whole setup for how to go about uh, creating your Google Analytics property and how to integrate that on your website that you can start to track data. And again, I would, you know, there's a lot more that goes into Google Analytics for and the setup for conversions and for your specific business and how that's set up. So you wanna make sure, just get familiar with this, right? If you're an e-commerce brand, right, you're gonna wanna set up some other conversion events other than purchase, which, you know, starts you off on the right foot. And then you can also just, you know, just again, browse around these different things, make sure that you have what's linked. If you have a Google Merchant Center, you're gonna to wanna to link that here as well. If you have a search console, you're gonna to wanna to link that here as well. So I can just come here actually, and I'll just kind of quickly link this, right? So you're just gonna to wanna to link that, enable auto tagging, submit, and boom, the link is created, right? So just, just stuff like this, poke around here, and that's pretty much how you set it up. They've made it pretty streamlined. And once it's set up, again, you can come to the homepage and then you can see, you know, all of your data should start to be getting pulled into here. And that's pretty much how you set up Google Analytics 4 for your business. So that's how to set up Google Analytics 4. Hopefully that was very helpful. Hopefully that you know made it pretty clear for you how to set up Google Analytics 4 if you have the UA or it's completely new for you and you're setting up your first Google Analytics property. Now, if you need any help setting this up or you're looking to run digital advertising for your business, I'll leave a couple links below where you can check out uh, my agency and learn more about what we do there and how we can you know do this for you and give you the best results with digital advertising and help you really just dominate online. So check the links below if that's uh, applicable for you. Other than that, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the newest digital advertising content and overall digital marketing strategies and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.